This is the Red Dragon X 5K cinema camera with the 18 to 35 T2 Sigma Cine lens on there for a Super 35 sensor. Now, why do I have this camera? Okay, I'm testing it because I'm looking at actually purchasing one of these cameras for a project that's coming up later this year. And I needed to test this camera because it's like nothing I've ever used before. Um, and I got it yesterday and I've done some tests on it. And I have to say, I'm completely blown away by this camera. This is another level to my Panasonic cameras, but it's also another level in price. This is ridiculously expensive, but you get what you pay for. And I've always believed that. So what this video actually is, is to ask you guys to give me advice on what I should be looking at using this. Now it's going to be used for a documentary series. And the reason I'm going to be using the red is for the slow-mo functions at the high resolution and also the HDRX mode, which this camera is incredibly good at. Um, like I said, it's a documentary that I'm going to be doing later on this year. There's actually a few documentaries lined up and the Panasonic cameras can do it. Don't get me wrong, the Panasonic cameras do a great job, but the RED camera is the next level. Now, like I said, I've never actually used one of these apart from once in Taiwan. I used an old RED Epic. Um, we used that for a project. We went along and did basically the video work for another company. Um, and that was a very complicated camera. This is much simpler. And this is my first time properly using a RED and testing it. So what I want you guys to do is give me some advice and tell me what I'm looking for, what I should be testing on it, what settings you recommend. Now, like I said, high frame rate is important, but also the HDR mode, the high dynamic range mode in this, um, which is the main part I'm looking at. But the high frame rate also is a key factor in part of this documentary. So if you guys can give me some advice, um, let me know what you think about the RED cameras. Keep it civilized, please. And let me know what I should be looking at and what settings you recommend for a RED camera. I've only got this for a few more days, so this video won't stay up long probably, but it's actually to ask this amazing community that's on YouTube for some help on this, the amazing RED Dragon X. Um, yeah, these things are amazing. Um, yeah, sorry, um, I, I'll get back to the video. So that's it really. Give me some advice on what you recommend I should be looking at with this camera. Um, and this lens is actually on here as a Canon mount lens, as a Canon mount. Um, and I'm actually purchasing this lens for my S-series camera. So I will probably be using the Sigma Cine lenses on this camera. And it's a Super 35, the Dragon X. So please give me some advice, leave me some comments down below. Let me know what settings I should be using and what I should be looking for. So that will help me make up my mind whether I'm gonna purchase the RED camera or not. To be honest, I've probably already made up my mind on what I'm gonna do. Um, just need to talk to my bank manager. <clears throat> Hope my bank manager is not watching this video. Sorry for the quick video but this was just to reach out to this amazing community on YouTube. Give me some advice on the red cameras. Let me know what you think and what settings I should be setting on it and what I should be looking at when shooting with it. So that's it really. As always, thank you so much and I will see you in my next video.